G'day, I'm Drew Hare from Gringo Productions. Today we're going to talk about how to delete render caches and why it's important to delete them. So with some projects in DaVinci Resolve, you may be doing a lot of rendering with high-end footage and this can take up a lot of space. It's important to delete it, otherwise if you have a small hard drive, it will fill up very quickly. There's a couple of ways to delete your render caches. You can either go back to playback, delete render caches, select all. Sometimes you can forget to do this and move on to another project and then you may never come back to the project again and those files will just be sitting on your computer. They can be very large files and if you have a small hard drive, they can chew up a lot of space. So what I like to do is maybe once a week or once every two weeks is go into the actual folder where your caches are and delete all those files. So the easy way to do this is to go to your project settings, go to master settings, and then go down to fol uh, working folders, cache our file location, and click browse, and then it'll tell you where it is. So mine's in C drive, cache, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what you can do is go to your C drive, which mine will be in, and then in DaVinci cache, cache clip, and then just delete your caches. And then that way you know it's gone for good. The reason why we delete them is because they take up a lot of space on your computer. So I have a clip here and the hard drive I'm using is an SSD. So the reason why I use my SSD and not my regular hard drive is because it runs DaVinci a lot faster and it renders quicker and it has a lot better playback than your normal hard drive. So if you have an SSD, I would recommend that you always use it, but SSDs are generally a lot smaller and more expensive. So as you can see, mine is only got 67 gig left, which sounds like a lot. But if we go back to our project where I have a clip with a grade on it, denoised, I denoised it a lot just because to show you how much space they can take up. So if we go back to playback, render cache, we'll go to user, and then we'll come down here, cache put selected, and then we'll go to on. And as you can tell by this little red line, it's starting to cache and it'll auto save. So it's done that little bit there. If we go back to our folder where it's kept, which before was on zero because we deleted it, now it is already up to 63 megabytes and that's been 10 seconds. And then if we cancel again, click on it again, it's already up to 92 megabytes. So you can imagine that if that was a three minute music video, and we did a lot of rendering how much space that would take up. So that's why it's important to always be deleting your render caches after every project or every week or every couple of weeks just to free that space up. It'll make your computer run a lot faster and which will make DaVinci run a lot faster. And it's just important when you have a smaller hard drive that it does take up a lot of space because if we went back to it again, it's already up to 247 megabyte and you know, 62 gigabytes does sound like a lot but when you've already almost done 300 megabyte, then you can imagine three and a half minute clip, it would pretty much chew up your whole hard drive if you're not careful. Yeah, so that's just a quick tip, just to be careful of how much space you are taking up because it will chug up your hard drive faster than you realize. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.